Hello, my name's Kevin. I'm the owner of LKW Campers. This is the instructional handover video to help you understand the camper that you've just bought. This is the bed we use on our Cotswold conversion. It's called a floating bed because it has no legs and just floats on, on a frame. So you lift the handle, which then releases it. So you can pull it forward just one notch and lock it in again so you've changed the back rate. We're now going to continue to pull it down. And when you get to about here, you just lean over and lock it down. The seat belts are attached to the side of the bed. And to put this bed back up, you just pull that strap and it'll slide back into place. We use a Butane 907 gas bottle in here and it's stored in this little cupboard here. with the regulator already built in. In here you have the access to the other side of the large storage unit. The electrics are also in here as, as is the water tank. All our doors are self-closed and this is the access to the storage at the back of the bed. This tambour door also accesses the large storage cupboard which is lit. What we have here is the main power management system. Below it you've got USBs and when you're on hookup you can use the 13 amp plugs. Over here is the thermostat for your diesel heater and you've got a wireless phone charger if your phone's equipped with that. The power management system turns on from the top left hand button and you've got these strip lights and LEDs at the back. These buttons allow you to check your leisure battery, your water tank and the ones at the top are for the LEDs and you can turn the water tank tap on from here. We have another little storage cabinet here and next to that is the microwave. The microwave works when you're on 240 hookup and you've got all the normal controls for it. You've got the hob here which is a two burner hob and to ignite that you have to have the gas bottle turned on. You turn this to the first position, hold it down until you hear the gas and just ignite it on the igniter. So once you've turned the tap on on the power management system you just lift this up and the water will flow. When you pull the plug out, it, there is a drain that takes it out away from the vehicle. So at the front of the roof, you have the perspex to let light in, and that's just zipped up here. <coughs> On the sides, you've got a mesh, which lets in air and light, with a Velcro strap. When you're putting the roof down, you pull the bed platform down first, so it just drops back into place. You then pull the roof with these straps. It comes down and self levels so and you can then pull in all the tenting around the side. When you've done that these here lock in through these metal tabs and you just lock it down and that's secure. So the Cotswold Plus is fitted with this panoramic roof so you unzip it here from the front and then with this canvas it just clips up onto the clips that are already in the the roof section and you've got the beautiful panoramic views and obviously lets in lots of air. This is the passenger swivel seat. Now it has four of these bolts, two at the front, two at the back. To move this, you need to take the handbrake off and put the vehicle in reverse gear so it doesn't go anywhere. So you unscrew them and lock them with the pins in. You move this seat across towards the driver's seat as close as you can get. With your foot, you push it forward so it misses this door panel. You then continue turning it till you get to this position and with your knee you're going to move it forward as you move it round with your hand. This has got storage in this part so you just lift it up and you've got lots of room for storage. The fridge opens with this handle, you just pull the door out. It's got the little ice box in here and the on off switch is here for the temperature. The outlet for the diesel heater comes underneath the driver's seat and it blows through here. This is the standalone table which fits on this rail. You just push it and then lock it in, turn it round and you've got these tags here that go on the rail and you lock them in. 